put your eye on the <laughs> digital stopwatch. It's not the same as an amulet. Watch the amulet. You know, hypnotized, got you hypnotized. Isn't that a Fleetwood Mac song? It is. Hypnosis, uh, probably the most infamous and, and amazing design collective ever in pop culture, one of them at least. Uh, this is my contribution to a thread from uh, Chris Profi. Musically Obsessed is his channel and there will be a link below. And he came up with this, um, was he the original? Well, he is in this case and this is what uh, who I'm responding to. I am attracted to uh, threads like this because uh, those of you who watch me know I'm a big design freak. Um, I'm a photo agent by trade for 37 years now. And design art is uh, a big obsession of mine. And, and I'm just, I love all the aspects and especially in album cover design. That's why we like the big 12 inch beautiful design uh, gatefolds or single frames and like these puny little CD packages behind me. And uh, Chris suggested we show five album covers. Of course, you can go on and on and on. Uh, but anyway, it starts in Cambridge, Cambridge University uh, in England. And uh, two designers, Peter, excuse me, uh, Peter Christofferson came a little later. But Aubrey Powell, Storm Thorgerson started uh, this collective, this art collective, uh, by they named Hypnosis. And obviously, they grew up with artists like Pink Floyd, and then of course went on to do just a, a plethora of uh, amazing covers. What I'm attracted to, and what I really like, and to me what's remarkable is, this was way, you know, decades before Photoshop, and they use a combination of uh, darkroom photography, multi-layered negatives, uh, airbrushing processes in uh, sandwiching negatives, and retouching in uh, the darkroom, and doing special effects uh, at a time, again, before you could do this all snap of a finger with, with um, Photoshop. Now, not to say that people use Photoshop as a tool, it's like synthesizers. You, if you're a good artist, you can create virtually anything, um, depending on the tool, and um, have it, just because you use Photoshop, or you play synthesizers, I mean, you can make great music or great art, uh, but it, it it is a, a tool that can get you there. But so I pick five albums and these five I consider uh, the simple uh, side of hypnosis, the less is more. Obviously there's bands like 10CC and, and Wings and Led Zeppelin and I'm just countless others. And before I go into my five albums, let me just show you this book. This is the Bible. This is anybody into art, art school, art collecting, record collecting. This is vinyl album cover art. The complete hypnosis catalog has every record they've ever designed, every record cover they've ever designed. And here is a photograph of um, Storm, Aubrey, and Peter Christopherson, Christopherson, who actually was a founding member of the uh, industrial noise band Throbbing Gristles. So that's kind of a little offshoot history here. This has everything. And obviously we could go through this whole cover, of course, we all know the most infamous ones. And uh, these aren't the ones I'm showing, so these don't count. But uh, this is an amazing uh, book. Jesus Christ, it's opening to the ones I'm gonna show. <laughs> That's a coincidence. Anyway, you already got a little uh, sense of what they do. One of my favorites actually, and this doesn't count, uh, Chris, but I mean, the concept of this, having an actual pig, uh, inflated pig, flying over London, over uh, the Battersea Park power station on the River Thames was just pure genius and it got away, got loose, it caused some havoc at the time. But you know, of course now you photograph the pig um, on a psych or outside and you'd Photoshop it together. And I mean, they could have done that too then, but I, th I think it's great having the motion. So. Probably my favorite, and it's probably one that people wouldn't think of as a favorite design it because it seems so, seems so simple. And this is Adam Hart Mother, Pink Floyd. Uh, Storm went around looking for cows and actually photographed this particular cow himself. Um, 
There you go there. What's nice about it, the original cover uh, didn't have any name. It had over on the sticker on the uh, cellophane, like a hype sticker, it had Pink Floyd. This is a later pressing, later American pressing. This is a UK pressing that has uh, the name of the band and everything. But I just, I just think this minimalism is brilliant. And, you know, not as arty as everything else in terms of uh, concept where there's all these multi-images put together, uh, composited together in the dark room and cut and paste. Uh, I just love the simplicity of this record and even the, just the black and white grainy gatefold. So uh, that's my first submission. Another one, which is very uh, simple, is this T-Rex cover. And I love about this is he did an airbrush just around the photograph, a, a black and white photograph of Mark Bowen performing. And how simple is that? Not again, these multi-images like, you know, a good example of some of my favorites are the 10cc, uh, Art for Art's Sake, and, uh, oh God, all, all the 10c records are more complicated and there's concept behind it, almost like a story within the uh, cover art. But I just like the simplicity of this and it says it all. And of course, uh, this is um, Electric Warrior uh, produced by Tony Visconti. Another one, you know, obviously it seems like they're so associated with Pink Floyd almost more than anyone else, even though they did all these Led Zeppelin records and Wings records and other artists, 10CC, as I said. I love the simplicity of this. And um, this is great because when uh, Storm uh, showed up to do the photography and they did a lot of their, most of their own photography, uh, Sid had painted the floor with these stripes. So that wasn't conceived by um, Storm and he showed up. And I just like the simplicity of this solo album produced by Roger Waters and um, David Gilmore. Just, just wonderful, you know, more collage, composite, cut and paste art in the gatefold. This is um, the Mad Cap Laughs. How, what a great title for that. Probably the most simple of the McCartney uh, records. He did obviously Wings Over the um, Speed of Sound. He did the uh, Live 76 Wings Over America. But I love the simplicity of this cover. I mean, this album has balls. Um, Wings, obviously, Venus and Mars. The simplicity of the two planet using these uh, cue balls. And of course, just all the inner packaging, the graphics and how everything works together and matches. And a lot of times the gatefolds will have this simple cover art shot. Uh, this came with... Uh, posters and stickers and um, just a really nice, I mean, that's a nice thing of like the Dark Side of the Moon, the poster with Wings Over America, uh, this photograph of Paul Linda at Mardi Gras, and another photograph of um, the um, series of photographs of the band. That's the great part of LP design when I was growing up, just the posters and the ephemera and all the little extra doodads. Um, and it, obviously, hypnosis was ahead of the game. And lastly, this one to me is really special, simplistic in a way. And this is a XTC Go 2 and just this great type. The story goes here is that XTC was having a meeting uh, at the hypnosis office and they went through all these presentations and XTC I get, and uh, well, the band really didn't like anything of that presentation. So as they're walking out, they see a giant version of this, just leaning against the wall apparently or hanging on the wall in the office. And they said, well, what's that over there? What's that thing? And apparently this is a cover design that uh, Hypnosis presented to several artists and everyone rejected it. And it talks about, this is a record cover. This writing is the design upon the record cover. The design is to help sell the record and so on. And it goes on to talk about design and uh, the tricks and why you're trying to trick people to, you know, reading liner notes and copy. And uh, same here, they go, this is the back cover of the design, catalog number. So it's really a generic design uh, they created for whoever would buy it. And XTC bought it, so it's adapted uh, somewhat to XTC's uh, specific art. 
and Pacific album music. What we are really suggesting is that you are foolish to buy or not buy an album merely as a consequence of the design of its cover. And I know I uh, bought a lot of records because of the design over the years, especially when I was younger, in my 20s and 30s, actually, but in my teens and 20s when I could. So Hypnosis, again, thanks, Chris, for suggesting this. Highly recommend this book uh, with a forward by Peter Gabriel or an afterward by Peter Gabriel. And, of course, uh, they did Peter Gabriel's uh, covers, Melt, and all the self-titled covers. One of my favorite hilarious ones is How Dare You, 10CC. That's where I talk about, um, that's where it gets more elaborate with all their covers. And of course, you know, that one. So thanks for watching Hypnosis. Check out the book. You probably have a ton of records in your collection. Mazzy loves you.